Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday. We got our wild card playoff Seahawks game today. Go Hawks, go Hawks, go Hawks. Um, yeah, I don't know. We better win this game. I am going to watch it as closely as possible while I do everything else I have to do today, but I am terribly excited. Uh, yeah, you guys better be rooting with me. Okay, so today is about nine days since I hit my head and gave myself my concussion. I'm not bruised anymore, still kind of cut. There's a slight dent up here, but I spent the last three days um, with extreme post-concussion symptoms. I was really dizzy, nauseous, throwing up, seasick, car sick, could not do much. Um, went home from sick, from work sick early because I started throwing up. Stayed home an extra day from work, and now I feel almost 100% better. I'm really good at jinxing it, so I'm not going to say that I'm 100% better because I'm not. I'm still healing slightly, but I had four mini partial focal seizures on um, Wednesday? Wednesday, Thursday? No, Wednesday. Wednesday night on the way home. Thursday morning, I woke up and had a really, really intense one. My little buster kitty ran and woke up my boyfriend, Willie, and literally ran. And as soon as it started, when I went to the living room and started having it, he ran and told him. And I'm still aware and awake during it. But yes, my kitty ran and saved, um, saved me from whatever might have happened and told my family that I was having a seizure. And then I was able to get my good friend and coworker Tristan to cover my shift and stay home and rest for a bit. And I had a weird day. I had a really bad migraine for most of the last week. And I finally got better and felt better, just was really tired. Yesterday I was a ton better, but I was able to deliver the last New Year's Eve basket with my good friend Julie and have a girl's day and rest and catch up and eat food and just let my body continue healing and relax. Um, today, after work... I'm going to relax some more, enjoy life, hope we win this Seahawks game, and do some laundry because, you know, that's adult life. I have a lot of laundry to do, and I have a lot of chores that I didn't do because I was letting myself rest. So, yeah, but I'm still six-month grand mal free, and honestly, that's I care about that more than anything. I am just thrilled to be six-month grand mal seizure free. Being happy that you're in good health is unique, and a lot of people aren't because when you say it, it doesn't sound like much. But I'm so happy to be in good health. I just have to get through this minor concussion that is not seizure caused, thank God. And keep my seizures at a minimum, keep myself happy and striving. I you know, everything's looking up. Okay, that's all I have to say. I have to pay bills, keep saving money, get things together. And before I know it, I'm going to be living in a beautiful house. And I'm going to be a real grown-up. <laughs> um... I think my five-year plan's fallen into place. I'm 31. It's going. I'm going to heal. I'm going to try my best not to have any more seizures or be clumsy and trip over things and fall into tables. Sounds like a good plan. Um, yeah. I love you guys. Let's all have a great fucking Saturday wild card Seahawks playoff. I almost said Sunday. Seahawks Saturday. Go Hawks. You guys, update me on the game. Let me know how it's going. And again, if anyone has any crazy drama stories that are fun drama stories from 2020, let me know what's up so we can get that vid thrown together. Love you all. See you later. Have a good night. Mwah.